What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Case Series Parts Instagram. Welcome for your tech tip of the day. On today's, we're going to be doing V8 stuff. I know, weird, but it applies to every motor, what I'm about to show you. So, we're replacing valve springs, lifters, and some other top end stuff. So in order to do that, I gotta take the head off. Now, one of the things that's very important to remember when you're taking a head off, especially an aluminum head, which is pretty much everything these days, especially any, anything you guys are gonna be dealing with, most likely, you wanna make sure that you loosen the head bolts in the exact reverse torque sequence that they were put on in order to avoid warping them. So if you think about it, your head is a plane, right? So if you start to take the bolts off weird and some of them are tight, you can, you can actually bend the head. You can get it out of spec just a little bit and then you'll end up needing to plane it. We know this head's good. So in order to make sure that it stays good, we need to do the reverse torque sequence. So on this particular motor, this is an LSX base block. What I did was I just looked up the, the original torque sequence and so there's 19 studs per head on this one. So what I did was I started at the 19th and just went backwards, right? So I went 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, so on and so forth. So I got them all loose. Once they're all loose and none of them are actually physically holding the head on, uh, usually it only takes a turn or two, then you can go ahead and zip them off with an impact if you'd like. Uh, just make sure that none of the bolts are actually still clamping the head. It's very important to get this head to come off nice and evenly. So as long as you follow these procedures, if you've got a motor you know is good that you need to do a little bit of maintenance on, head's got to come off, you're putting cams in it, you're changing lifters, whatever the case may be, just make sure you go reverse torque sequence in the order that it was installed and you should be good to go. So this has been your tech tip of the day. Stay tuned for more. Cheers.